Have you ever noticed something unusual about the path that a rocket follows? Instead of moving in a straight line, the rocket follows a curved trajectory. Rockets are supposed to go into space, right? Wouldn't it make more sense if they went straight up in a line rather than following a parabolic path? In the context of space technology, a rocket is something that can send people and material into space. It is the tall, thin, cylindrical vehicle that launches from the launch pad, leaving a humongous cloud of smoke in its wake. Rockets are launched vertically with a tremendous amount of upward thrust thanks to their own engines and the solid boosters attached to them. Following the launch, the rocket's climb is initially slow, but within one minute of launching, the rocket is moving at a staggering 1,000 miles per hour. While moving through the sky, a rocket loses a great deal of its energy due to air resistance, but it must attain a high enough altitude by the time its fuel is used up. That's why a rocket initially flies straight up very fast, as it needs to cross the thickest part of the atmosphere in the least possible distance. Much of the confusion about a rocket's trajectory stems from the common assumption that most rockets simply want to escape Earth's gravity and reach space. First of all, space is not all that far away. If you fly to an altitude of 62 miles above Earth, you are officially considered in space. The US Air Force would call you an astronaut if you flew above 50 miles. Basically, it's not that rockets simply want to reach space, they can do that using much less fuel. However, what most rockets really want to do is enter the Earth's orbit. In the planet's orbit, the gravitational tug of the planet is high enough to keep the rocket from drifting off into outer space, but low enough so the rocket doesn't have to burn huge amounts of fuel to prevent a plummet back to Earth. To enter orbit, a rocket begins to tilt onto its side and gradually increases this tilt until it achieves an elliptical orbit around the planet. Attaining a proper orbital path is not easy. It comes at the cost of huge quantities of fuel to attain an incredible horizontal velocity of roughly 18,000 miles per hour. This technique of optimizing the trajectory of a spacecraft to attain its desired path is called a gravity turn or a zero life turn. This technique offers two principal benefits. First, it lets the rocket maintain a very low or even zero angle of attack during the early stages of its ascent, meaning that the rocket experiences less aerodynamic stress. The other advantage is that it lets the rocket use Earth's gravity, rather than its own fuel, to change its direction. The fuel that the rocket consequently saves can be used to accelerate it horizontally and more easily enter orbit. In a nutshell, a rocket must curve its post-launch trajectory if it wants to enter the Earth's orbit. If it just continued to go straight up, it would eventually reach a point where its fuel would run out, followed by a rapid plunge back to the surface of our planet.